We're out here with Oregon Grill, and we're about to see one of the craziest Oregon duck collections in the world. Let's just go ahead and get into it and start cracking open all these cases and Let's shoes. There's it. a bunch of stuff over there, stuff over here too. Let's go through the LeBrons first. Some of my favorites. These were really the first Oregon Nike collab that involved like a pro athlete, right? right? Like right. a pro shoe model. So these came out in I think 2005, 2006 range. Mm -hmm. um, the LeBron twos. Uh, ducks like Malik Hairston, Bryce Taylor were wearing these. And this was right about when I first started collecting Oregon shoes and just fell in love with these. I think I like the whites a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, the um, white pair just brings back so many me memories and nostalgia from that era, that time, seeing the players, you know, growing up in here and stuff, so. Just really clean shoe. And uh, LeBron actually wore these in the 2016 championship parade. Yep. Uh, at, in Cleveland, which was so cool after, you know, 10 years right. later or whatever it was for him to break these out. Um, so really, really cool. Those, like, did you get those around that time or was it later, or, like when you got those? I probably got those like a year or two after they came okay, out. Okay, so it was so, roughly around that time. So probably what, when- What would have been like the price of purchasing those back then? $300. 300 bucks, yeah. okay. Which we'll get into the price of these J's because I'm sure we both have the same memories of like the pricing and how it was then compared to now. But what are those two shoes days. worth now today in current time? Uh, those don't transact a lot because there's not a lot of those. They're hard to find. There's not a lot of those out there. Yeah. Both of these are dead stock actually. I've never worn either pair, Jeez. even though I want to wear the white ones. Um, I would probably say four to five grand. Okay. Now, before we get too deep into this case, is this, a, this what year was this stuff? 07. 07. This is, I was yeah. about to say, this came next kind of, right? There was yep. Revis, yeah, this. So what you got up here up top? These are uh, the Air Force 125s that they uh, came out in 07 and they gave like, I think to the basketball and football teams. Um, so they all came out around the same time. There's a green pair there too. Green's got the cool like checkered vibe. Yeah. Um, but kind of the translucent soles are really cool. And right. got camo on the white ones and got the AF25 chrome on the tongues. And what I love about so many of the Oregon shoes is like that they always almost have something cool on yeah. the insole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of duck graphic or duck hit. Yep. Um, these ones are starting to redden and I've worn these a few times. So. Um, very cool shoe. Uh, again, like I have no idea how to price these right. because there, nobody has them. And this is the dope part about like being in it for so long. If you wanted to like build this collection now, it's going to be so hard to go find these sneakers and especially these older ones and these random things to put sets together. Yep. It just takes even more time yeah. and obviously more money to do it. I think I got all three pairs of these on eBay in like 2010. Yeah. Yeah, that's like crazy. that was. That I was remember. How I, found them. I remember. I got one. Oregon. Did you get the Oregon State Nines? No. Ah, okay. I was just wondering. <laughs> I was just wondering because you know I'm a Ducks fan too, but I'm like it's hometown, home state. I feel like I gotta get them just cause. But that was no, I, as a collector in me. I had to do it. I have to go after. I, I don't. I don't uh, hate Oregon State as much as many Duck fans do. <laughs> right. um, but I don't. I don't need any orange shoes. I feel that. I'm glad they only got one. Well, I guess two. They got, they got a couple. <laughs> okay, uh, do you want to get into the forces or do you want to hit this side over here? Because I know there's a bunch of stuff over there too. There's probably a bunch of old stuff over here. We okay. could we could go check out. I know it's kind of like similar yeah, eras yeah. going similar, at the same similar time. Eras. Yeah, this gets a little newer. Um, so yeah, let's check out over here. All right, here. let's go over here on this side. Take me behind the bar. I see you brought some stuff out. Yeah, I had to get a lot of this uh, out of other closets and storage and things like that. So, uh, you know, a pair of LeBron's yes. basketball shoes. These were just probably like four or five years ago. Uh -huh. These LeBron nines came out with the ducks on the tongue. Um, not a very wearable shoe right. for me to wear right. around, but, and you could just buy those online GRs. Right. Um, these are all baseball, well, not these. These are all baseball. Okay. Um, I'm a big fan of the Oregon baseball team. Uh, one of my friends is the head coach there and, and he was an assistant back in the day. So I love, I love picking up the, the kind of the dad shoe, mm -hmm. the baseball dad mm -hmm. shoe look. Um, That's dope. Kind of fun one. So good quality materials on these two. And, and again, they got the bird, Ooh, the duck like flying on the insoles. I like so that. Some fun shoes. So you know how they have like the warehouse sale 
or what I forgot the name of it. Yeah. It's the warehouse. What's the it's, name it's of it? It's the surplus sale. Surplus sale. Yeah. There we go. The athletic so department surplus sale. Is this kind of more of the environment where you get these type of sneakers from? Yeah. Where you can go in and get them for the low and add them to the collection. Yeah. Like there. none of these, none of these were for sale online. So mm -hmm. you kind of get them at the surplus sale. Oftentimes when coaches leave the school, right. they want to get rid of their stuff. Right. And so people know to reach out to me or, you know, or you can yeah, find yeah, them yeah, on yeah. eBay, resale stores, things like that. Um, and then this gets into a lot of the like football kind of trainers that mm -hmm. all came out. Mm -hmm. Um, really this, cool. Oh like, my gosh. This, this was like a whole trainer era. Golden uh, era, bro. <laughs> I've, I've beaten a lot of these too. I have tons of pairs that I used to wear these that I just threw away yeah. after wearing them down so much. But like, these are for the spring game, yep. the, the support your troops. And where you bring the uh, can of food to come to the game. Yep, come you to know, the game. I used to remember that, yeah. And then all time. the coaches had these on, yep. so got a pair of those. I really like these white ones. Yeah, um, the 3M. 3M on them. I'm probably gonna start wearing these actually um, this year. It's fun to like start yeah. wearing them to the football games yeah. and people are like, oh, I haven't well, I seen yeah, those. Yeah. Seen those for years. So, so that's these were, really fun. These were more retail drops yeah. that came out to the public. Yep. I remember this time. And it was funny because they came out and they didn't really hit like that. No. Like, it was like, if you're a Ducks fan, great, but like you almost kind of wanted to catch it on sale or something. Yeah. And then now look at the prices. Everything's like four or 500 bucks. Everything's four shoe. or 500 bucks and like cool chromo on the back. And um, I may start lifting weights in these too. Like okay. I have these other pair of trainers that I like these ones with the puddle duck on the mm -hmm. back. These have been great weightlifting shoes. Right. Wear out the tongue or wear out the toe. Mm -hmm. um, Is weight on there? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice. The quilted insole. Oh yeah, this so, is nice. Yeah, it's a cool shoe. Yeah. Um, and uh, but yeah, like you could pick these up then and and just buy them on the Nike app. Not even sneakers, just right. regular Nike right. app. And they had. I don't even think sneakers was around at the time. Yeah, it wasn't even around when these no. were all coming out. Cause this was like 2009, 10, 11, 12, kind of like that era. Yep. Um, About that era. Releasing. Damn, I'm just, bro, the memories of these. I know you got the Revises <laughs> over there because the Revises came out around yep. the same time. I'm just taking a trip down memory lane. This is like a, just a fun time for me seeing all this stuff. Like these shocks. Oh my gosh. A little, little duck feet on them. <laughs> um, kind of a funny shoe to wear. Like, doesn't feel great, um, but you know, it's definitely cool. I haven't uh, seen these in so long. And like, it's like the, besides the Oregon colors, that's the only like duck thing on them, but mm -hmm. Definitely a, a fun walk down memory lane kind of shoe there. This again, items that some you get online, some you gotta get from people, surplus sale, whatever it may be. And they have a student store now that has Oregon Duck sneakers available in the store now. Oh, I haven't even seen that. So I went in on the campus and there's, what's that store right over there where the, it was like Taylor's or whatever, the bar yeah, the Taylor's the street. Got, yeah. yeah, so they have a store and I seen they had the shoes available, like different, like regular shoes like this available oh, wow. in there like retail drops. Retail drops. So. I need to go down there. Right. <laughs> so it's interesting seeing the change of all that before, yeah. but you told me that you also worked at Nike. What was, what was the story behind that? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Eugene and in 1989, um, in between my middle school and high school, they had a summer internship program. Okay. So I applied, I was already playing basketball at the time. That was my favorite sport. And Jordans, I had a pair of Jordan ones and then I didn't get the twos. Um, and then as Jordan 3s came out, um, was the winner right before I started working at the store. Dope. And then, so when I was working there, I was unboxing Jordan 3s, all the original colorways. Right. Um, and that got me even more hooked on sneakers working at the store there. Um, then of course, played through high school, kept buying Jordans all through that time. Uh, and then didn't really collect until they started doing the Oregon okay. collaborations. So early 2000s. Early 2000s, LeBron, I got going. So you're like, oh, okay. And I, I stayed away from like pretty much all of the, you know, what you'd consider more hype or well-known right. shoes of those eras and just focused on the Oregon stuff. Um, not until COVID did I really start to branch out other and things. pick up some off-whites and yeah. various other stuff that most people are more familiar of. but. Just collecting Oregon stuff alone is a lot of work. It and, is a and not, task. not cheap these days, especially. I think it's crazy too, because there's so many shoes coming out in a single year compared to before. Yeah. Before, really, there was none, but now it's like, okay, you got one or two. And then now, yeah. you're like, okay, 
every few quarters, every quarter, it feels like there's a few shoes coming out with all the teams and all the different things. It's crazy. Yeah. And since I started posting them on social media, I have so many people who message me saying, oh, I got a pair of, you know, PG3s right. from two years ago. They've come out with so many, or like all the all the shoes the basketball players wear. That just made me think of the Kobe's. Yeah, there's so many Kobe's, so many PG's, so many Durant's, Giannis shoes. The Kobe 8's. Now the Sabrina's. The like, Sabrina's. Yeah, yeah, there's so many shoes that it's like, I can't even, Right. I can't even go down that road. So I, <laughs> I focus now on on a little bit of specifics right. uh, within the Oregon stuff. I feel that. Okay, yeah. what we got on this side over here, this is like GR, but Oregon duck based coloring. Yeah, so it aligns with it. We'll get this is another pair Ooh, of these. We'll, we'll get into those in a second. These were a pair of uh, customs I had made. Okay, um, got the O on them. Have my graduation year on the inside, so just kind of a fun pair to wear. And then I love it when they come out with GRs right. in my color because I can wear them all the time. Right. Um, really like these ones with the yellow on the tongue. Yeah. You know, standard Jordan three stuff that everyone's seen, mm -hmm. but. Um, are fun to wear around, especially because I have a lot of Oregon clothing. So you got some stuff down here. I do too. like to do like to match, um, but <laughs> even like I, I got these for like sixty bucks online, and then now they're worth hundreds after all the like SB you know hype I, yeah. and stuff. So um, it's funny how that that all happens at what was once not popular, right. suddenly becomes right. really popular. So give me your opinion about the Oregon Five. I feel like you are very qualified to talk about this. People don't like hearing me say it all the time. Should so we look at the difference between the two? Oh like, my gosh. Check them out. Um, these are okay. Yeah. Like I, I had the originals and when they when they came out with these, I know a lot of people were bummed, like the value is gonna drop right. of the PEs. I think it kind of brings a little bit more attention to the PEs, yeah. so like they're special. Yeah. Because I've worn the PEs since, and people are like, "Oh man, those are different." Yeah. And even yeah. if they're not sneakerheads, they kind of notice that the the color on these is different. Mm -hmm. um, this is more of a Kelly green, and the tongue's not reflected, right. and a little bit different shape. The duck on the back is just what. Yeah, seals make, the makes deal the for difference. Me. But I do like how they got that murdered out in the middle with the laces and the the. Uh, yeah, I think I think they did a good job on them. Did gotta have a pair of Oregon slides. Yeah. I got some at home too. Uh, I got a different one, but you gotta have some of those. Those are shocking, Sorry. shockingly comfortable too. Yeah, I know. She, the, is it lunar? Is that one lunar too? Uh, I don't know if these are lunar. I know mine was like a lunar yeah. something, some type of foam thing. Foam. I don't remember. Either way, okay. <laughs> what we got? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's kind of sad see? with Sports Illustrated, you know, kind of going out of, I'm not officially out of business, yeah. but they just laid off like their whole staff. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've collected most of the duck, uh, sports illustrated covers, got the one with Prefontaine on the cover over there That's from dope. the seventies. So That's it's kind of a fun piece of memorabilia as yeah. well. Yeah. So this is essentially the man cave, right? Like how did you even come about putting this all together? Show us this little detail. Yeah. yeah. Right here. We like, had a company up in, in Portland, um, do laser metal cutting in order to make that duck. And it actually, uh, can change colors if you know, you want to see a, Okay. Different background or whatever. That's when we lose. I, I change it to red when, when Oregon loses. Um, that is so funny. that's a fun thing. And then all of this is uh, reclaimed um, timber due to the the tall firs. Okay. So it's kind of a, a ode to the Oregon tall firs basketball team yeah. of having the reclaimed wood. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the, the shoe locker idea was my wife's kind okay. of modeled after the famous Oregon locker rooms. That's dope. Uh, like in our that. old house, I just put them on bookshelves in my office instead of books. Mm -hmm. And she's like, let's actually, when we built this house, she said, let's actually design a, a sneaker wall. That's dope. Um, I like that. So glad most, most wives get mad about the shoes. She's committed yeah, to she's it committed. That's good. Committed. That's good right there. <laughs> and then, uh, the O on the ceiling was, um, our builder's idea, who's actually a Washington Husky. So that's really that's brilliant. But this is modeled after the basketball arena that has the yeah. yellow O on the bottom of the scoreboard. So we did that. And then uh, the beams in that room are supposed to be like Matt Court. Okay. So the old, oh, yeah, the old basketball yeah, yeah. arena had the exposed beams. Okay, the details. So yeah, little details to, to kind of honor, you know, Oregon sports venues. That's dope. Okay, take me to this side. We'll get into this. We gotta talk about what's on that wall over there too. 
Helmets, everything. Yeah, some helmets, some memorabilia. This is a, a Kayvon Thibodeau signed helmet oh. um, that a friend got for me that's addressed to me, which is cool. And then these are some unique pictures that uh, we actually got from a photographer friend. So this was an Oregon beat Washington a few years back, mm -hmm. um, the celebration in the end zone. So he's a professional photographer. Uh, who took these and they weren't published anywhere. So we're oh. like, oh, let's get these yeah. printed out and yeah. blown up. Baseball bats, as I said, a big supporter of the baseball team, mm -hmm. which is cool. But um, this one's custom for you? Yeah, yeah, custom oh. for me. But these are some of the, the recent ones that Oregon, or not Jordan ones, but recent <laughs> shoes that yeah. they've released as part of the, the Ducks of a Feather um, program, which is part of the Division Street mm -hmm. NIL Collective. So all the money from these shoes went to Oregon athletes. Mm -hmm. So and they've made special exclusive shoes on behalf of the Oregon athletes. So for this one in particular was the NFT, yep. right? You had to buy an um, NFT and then they made 120 pairs of these Air Maxes that Tinker redesigned and then he autographed each one and numbered them. Um, but really a beautiful shoe, like it's got nice rubber material on the swoosh and Cool interior with the O and the colors. I don't know if that's viewable. Sono on the back, and so and they very, that same, very rare same shoe. Same rubber on the duck. Yep, rubber on the tongue. Super dope. So very high quality. Um, might wear them, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see, it's, it's a tough call. <laughs> uh, they made these dunks with the same kind of duck O on them. Uh, I've got a second pair of those. They, they came out with like a thousand pairs of these, mm -hmm. so you can definitely find them. So when you say came out, also people remember, so PEs go to the players, these ones in particular go to the players, but also they do a separate batch that goes on the GOAT. These in particular came, well, these yeah. two were on the GOAT website. Mm -hmm. This was a separate drop to a different website, yep. but they go through that and then you can purchase it through there and it's a bidding process. I remember I called you. Yeah. <laughs> What was that, the eights, I think? Yeah, we were talking about the eights. Yeah. We were collab collaborating on our bidding <laughs> strategies. We were different sizes, so uh, it, it worked out. We were, yeah, we were trying to help each other out, find the best deal, you know what I'm saying? Okay, these Air Force Ones, I was just talking about this. I'm slacking, I need to get a pair of my collection. These things are nice. Yeah, they're nice. I'm not a huge Air Force One fan, like wearing them, I feel a little blocky just on the shoe, mm -hmm. but I really like these like metal eyelets and they got the hang tag with the O on one side. Mm -hmm back and then nice material and then the the cork insoles kind of a cool touch so these are just cool and then the reflective um reflective liner on that is is a nice touch as well yeah those are nice and but then these, they just came out with these where they only did 10 pair i walked in i was like wait when did these drop and he was like yeah there's only like 10 of them i'm like oh okay okay I see so how this, this again was another goat auction really they only, they only had 10 of them when did this happen it, it didn't get very much exposure so um the price between these two or where they made like a thousand of these and they only made 10 of these the price wasn't very much different no way so you're so, telling me i might be able to find a 13. you might you might uh-oh these are fire bro. these are nice <laughs> quilted insole on these also the hang tag shows that it's uh, eight of 10. Um, these are actually like really not, like even if it wasn't a gold duck, though, PE, on the back, yeah. like the it's materials, nice, the execution. Nice shoe. This is a great, is this, oh, it's patent leather right here on the liner. Yeah. I was about to say, they do 3M on there. Okay, what you got up in here in the case? This is kind of a random mess of stuff. Um, I just throw a lot of shoes and memorabilia in this on different times. Like. These were the field generals they wore when they played in the national title. Yeah, I remember um, that. Mariota's year, so yep. that was like 2016. I remember seeing them all uh, coming off the bus with the sweatsuits and those. I ones. wore these to um, a Foot Locker um, annual like sneaker black tie event in New York City. Okay. So it went with my tux and everything. So that was a, a fun time to wear those. That's dope. Got a lot of comments. Um, these came out similarly available on GOAT. Um, See, that was the one I passed on. Yeah. I just don't like blazers. I, I, don't, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Either. Hey, but at least they wasn't like too expensive, so you didn't have to yeah. spend too much on them. Uh, Kobe's. Uh, these are hyper chases that, again, I like I like the Oregon. Uh, yeah, the details timber. of the trees. Harden wore a pair of these yeah. when he was a Nike athlete. He wore the Oregon ones with the those on them. Those are fire. These Hirachis just came out. We're also a. Um, Goat auction mm -hmm. with the money going to the players. Did they number those? 
Um, they did, yeah. Okay. So they only made 345 pairs of these. Okay. I got lucky number 213. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see you got a jersey folded up in here. Do you go after like the gloves, the jerseys, the this, the that, or is it kind of like every now and then it might be a gift? Every now and then. I mean, I, I, I get some of the jerseys I like. These mm -hmm. are the, this was the other uh, Oregon national title game they lost. Ooh. Um, so it's a little Michael James jersey. Yeah. Um, we went down to that game and watched in horror as Auburn uh, kicked a field goal to win. <sighs> but these were the shoes I that still year think we too. Got cheated. You know, got the like Harachis, yeah. which are um, pretty rare. Tinker designed these ones too, with mm -hmm. the the white duck and the black duck on the backs. Um, the leather on those. Is yeah, nice. very very fun shoe. I like the elephant print. Mm -hmm. I'm a big big elephant print fan. This was this an ID or did these come out? Yeah, these were Nike IDs. Okay. So both both these ones and. Uh, so for a period of time. Nike had Nike ID, Nike by you, and they allowed people to create like Oregon. Was there other colleges too? I don't remember. Yeah, they did. They yeah, there did was other colleges, colleges too. Yeah. Um, I just remember seeing everybody doing the Oregon versions. Um, but yeah, you could create your own Oregon ID, Air Force One, and different stuff, high tops, low tops, different stuff. So honestly, I like this all green colorways, fire. Yeah. I just give you that old retro vibe. I like that too. Definitely. Clean. But yeah, that was a good era. I was uh, I was slacking. I know I should have got a pair. A pair of LeBrons autographed by Sabrina that she wore. Um, Sabrina's been great, like cool, cool girl and mm -hmm. cool woman, and uh, great basketball player. It was fun watching her shoot against Steph in the yeah. uh, three-point shootout. Right, out. right. And Let's then uh, these are pit crew. Uh, I don't even know what they called these. Um, they gave these to the pit crew, five hundred pairs. Okay. And the pit crew is the Oregon student section at the mm -hmm. basketball games. So kind of like a blazer, Chuck Taylor. I was talking to, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Joey Harrington. He was saying he was a part of like starting the pit crew. Yeah. Back when it like began. Yep. I was like crazy. He was, you could see him front row when he yeah. was a student. Like how, doing how all that. it all started going from then and now, like, and then where it came with the shoes, which I think kind of brings us in to this wall. The pit crew three, we can show the threes, but I know there's stuff that came before that. <laughs> <laughs> Starting here and going all the way through down to here are all the Jordans that they made specifically for Oregon sports teams. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's every, starting in 2010 with the football team and then going all the way through all the various sports, um, managed to grab every pair that's been made for a team. And so that's been like a collection to complete right, right. and then to keep up with. Um, some of them were pretty easy. Some mm -hmm. of them were extremely difficult to uh, to acquire. Okay, let's start with the 2010. Yep. Pull them out, we'll show them what they look like and everything. Um, but everybody thought it was the nines. That are, everybody's like, the first Oregon PE no. was the nines. And we're like, no, it was the 2010. <laughs> <laughs> it was the How do you open this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah this it way. opens this way. This way. Yeah. <laughs> So these were uh, Jordan Teams was the, mo the team model of shoe. Um, so they just took a standard shoe and then just slapped on the win the day logo, mm -hmm. which was the slogan of the football team at the time, yep. an Oregon sticker it's, and a Ducks team issue sticker. It's literally a sticker. It's just on sticker the shoe. on a shoe. It's not even having, it doesn't have a sample tag or anything like that, but it was the first Oregon PE for Jordans. <laughs> first Jordans that came out, yep. Um, they definitely went under the radar. These ones are like a couple hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to pay much. Yeah. I mean, if they're they're still rare, but nobody right. really wants them. Yeah, um, it's like you can't find it, but at the same time, yeah, no one's looking for it. <laughs> not a super popular shoe. Okay, the then nines. The, the nines, um, again, they got slightly better. Again, took a standard Jordan model and then sewed an Oregon O on the back. But at so, the time, this wasn't a release because remember we saw this release later. Yeah, they and, yeah they released the shoe later, yeah, years later. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it was a, it was a unknown shoe at the time, and the materials are pretty good, like yeah. kind of a nice suede material. Mm -hmm. But just an Oregon O, and the O shape isn't even really like right perfect. <laughs> but gave these to the football team. Uh, I remember at the time everyone was so jealous of mm -hmm. like, oh man, how do I get those? Right. Um, didn't, wasn't very hard to we find were, these. Yeah, I remember during this time, we were literally trading retros 
straight across for these, these, those, and then when we got to the fours, that's when it came like a thousand dollars, eight hundred bucks. Started to go up but in price, yeah. For these, I'll be like, I'll give you some hair sevens. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, all right, <laughs> like that's the type of trades we was yeah. doing back during this time. So, uh, did well, you did it, you get these in that era? Yeah, I got them. Okay, probably a year. Most of them take so a little bit of time a couple before they, bucks on yeah, them too, before. yeah. So those were only a couple hundred bucks. Okay. Um, the threes. The threes. So. Jordan 3 is my favorite model, going back to when I worked at that Nike store. Mm -hmm. I also just find that they're very comfortable, very wearable. I had a pair of these that I got in probably a year or two after the pit crew got them. Okay. Um, wore them all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, just everyday shoe that I was wearing. Probably paid, I don't know, $300, $400 yep. for them. And just beat them into the ground to the point that I threw them away. So then probably five or six years ago, um, a friend of mine in Portland was at a Oregon fundraiser auction up there oh. and was like, hey, I know you, he, he didn't even know much about shoes. And he was like, hey, they have an autographed pair of Tinker Hatfield Jordan 3s. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in bidding? And I was like, absolutely. And he's <laughs> like, what's your max price? And I was like, I don't know, $5,000 and ended That's up dope. getting these for significantly cheaper than that That's just good. because nobody they didn't know or didn't care nobody or knew or cared right. and now if you auction these off they would be hard to get right. so um i'm always tempted to wear them but i was about to say to, was it your size too yeah it's my size that's crazy yeah <laughs> so due to the due to the autograph and everything i haven't worn them which mm -hmm. kind of kills me because i feel that i i love that color and way. then you have the unpit crews also People have to know about that version. The unpick crews, so these ones have the clap, these are clapping hands, which is tough to tell, yeah. which is supposed to signify the student section. And then the pit crew logo on that side. The unpick crews don't have these two logos, just have the yellow O and just yep. have the yellow feet. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking for a pair of those. those so if anybody, you, yeah. If you got a pair of the unpick crews, uh, and I know a couple of you out there I've talked to, <laughs> Not willing to sell. Yeah, let me know. Un, the unpaid crew is another sleeper uh, in that time. Now it's basically have, a sample. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like there's probably yep. less than ten in mm -hmm. existence or something yep. like that. You don't see those too often. Um, now, I actually, I actually think they gave those to the track team. I don't remember. I just remember like is how those. I was came like, out. why is it? Because I had a pair yeah. before, and I'm like, why is it different? I don't know. Is this legit? And then yeah. I found out it was. I was like, okay, that's good. Because I'm like, I got it for somebody here, but I just yeah. remember now what happened was they gave the unpit crews to the track team. Okay, and that's where those came from. Gotcha. So there probably was a little more than ten pairs. There was probably like either 30, way, forty, either but way. not a lot. Yeah. Um, shortly thereafter, they came out with the white version of they call a lot of people call them the pit crews but they they've never had the logo i call these the footballs yeah they gave them to the football team um beautiful shoe mm -hmm. i wear these ones uh inside a lot oftentimes when we're playing road games um i like to wear them around the house you know what's interesting too the paint doesn't crack as often on the white pair than it does on the black on pair. the black pair yeah Isn't that weird it's so weird getting a little cracking but it's not bad yeah a little cracking right here but uh on shoes like this it like Still beautiful. It looks good. Still beautiful. Way. It still looks good. Still looks good. Okay, so I have my little two cents for this one. Remember, you were talking about the pricing and how they were cheap back then. This one, these two, you could come up to somebody and be like, I'll give you 500 for the set. And they would have both, and you'd be like, 250 a piece. Like, I remember I paid 600 for my set, but it was like, I felt like I was spending a lot of money at yeah. the time. And then you look at the prices now and it's like three, four, five thousand dollars. It's like crazy yep. to see the changes over the years in the prices. It's wild. This one was the one that made everything go crazy for college PEs. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says, this was a shoe. And and what a like just amazing shoe, right? One like my favorite. The colors, the metallic green. The back just with the chromo. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, like this is the same metallic paint they used on the helmets at the time, yep. and weren't wasn't really meant to last. So you'll see this cracking paint on uh, a lot of these versions of these shoes. Also, some cracking there. But I I wear these up so much. Tips for the people: when you see cracking on an Oregon Four, that means. Typically, it's a real pair. Yep. When you see these new pairs floating around and they don't got any type of cracking on them, like anywhere on it, that's probably gonna be a fake pair because this happened to literally everybody. Yep. It's just like, 
And then if you wear pants, I'm assuming you wore pants, that just rubs it and rubs then it, it makes it fall off. Like, yeah, rubs it, makes it I always wear mine with shorts because once I found out about that, I was like, I can't wear it with pants. <laughs> yep, it's, uh, it's a gorgeous shoe though. And like, it was uh, also the epi or the Netflix show, Sneakerheads. Yeah. They The whole show, they were trying to chase down this shoe. Yeah. And so that also kind of made it even a little bit more legendary to like have this be the, the focus of a Netflix show. Yeah. Um, was really cool. And there's there's some awesome photos of like Dwayne Wade, Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. like NBA pros wearing these and yeah. their fits when they come up to games. Cause this so. was 2012. 12, yeah. yeah. So uh, during this time, give you guys a quick, during this time, again, prices was like this, it like tripled around this time. So now it's like, you gotta spend like a thousand dollars, 800 bucks. If you got a plug, maybe you can get it for 500. That's kind of like what they was floating around that time. And then the fours came out on the, on the basketball fours. They were like, oh, well, these are more limited. <laughs> and the prices just started going crazy. Going crazy. The Duckman fours. Yes. Um, they gave these only to the basketball team. I hated on these for a long time. You hated on these? Yes. Oh, you're crazy. Because I like the black pair more. Oh, no, I know it feel like things was just heating up, but we had to end today's episode. Don't worry, tomorrow's episode will be coming very, very soon. So stick around for part two. And trust me, he has a lot of bangers in his collection and some crazy other memorabilia as well. So stick around for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's one of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. Don't